Whether chic, street, emo or boho, Brits love fashion. In the UK, we buy more clothes per person than anywhere else in Europe. But chuck away 300,000 tonnes of garments every year. That's the weight of 30 Eiffel Towers. But you don't need to sacrifice style for sustainability because we're going to show you that all it takes is a little creativity to reduce your waste, reuse old clothes and revamp your wardrobe. This week, Reduce, Reuse, Revamp is all about... Well, you've done it. Who needs fast fashion when you can create incredible, one-of-a-kind upcycle pieces like these? But there can only be one winner. So, Yasmin, who has reduced, reused and revamped their way to victory? Remember these two? No way. Jason Burrows. Now that's a name I bet you'd sooner forget. What? He was fit. He used to gel his fringe to his forehead and tuck his trackies into his socks. And you still went out of him for two years. No way. It's like now. Probably dead. Or in prison. Have you got any of the year eight residential? I've got no makeup on. You'll have to talk to him. Who is it? Your mum and dad? Don't be daft. They don't care what I look like. It's Ross. Really? What does he want? I'm not talking to him. Hang on one sec. Please. For me? You can go. I ain't. I told Mum I'd watch Tobes while she goes bingo. Okay. I'm not ready. We'll meet you down there. Well, I'll be going then. Don't be like that. It's not my fault you have to babysit. Yeah. I know. Whatever. I'll see you tomorrow. is not what I do It's the wrong kind of place to be thinking of you It's the wrong time for somebody new It's a small cry And I got no excuse And is that alright?
Strong entrance there, Katie. Yeah, I love that. So I'll dive right in. What's it like being fiery red? I love my lead energy. I feel empowered, strong, confident. You could say unstoppable. So how do you use it? Well, I set the direction for the team from the get-go. I know what it is that we need to achieve and we'll be determined to deliver the results. No, to exceed the target. People know what to expect from me. I have high standards and I like to win. I have to admit, I like to be numerate, you know. Second is first loser and all that. And how would others know that you lead with fiery red? You'll often hear me asking for updates on how we're doing performance-wise. You'll also see me working at pace to get things done. You ever talk about my son again? And you're never going to eat here again. Do you understand? Show me some sign that you understand or leave now. Do you understand me? You crazy fuck! That's very frightening for people. The most frightening thing they can think of. But for some, it's a relief. They're in so much pain, they're so tired that they want to go. Just fall asleep and disappear. Well, that's what I want. Something quick. I think about it a lot, how I want to die. Not in an accident, because then there's blame and other people involved, and it just gets too messy. That sounded very morbid. I'm not obsessed with death. <laughs> I work in a hospice. It's busy. Never stops. Always full. Oversubscribed. 15 deaths a month minimum. <laughs> Though that's not my favourite thing about the job. <laughs> people dying. Although, this might sound a little bit weird, but it's a gift to be with someone when they die. But once they're gone, when they're not suffering well, then you've got the people who've been left behind. Look, if there's one thing I've learned, it's that you've got to make your peace before it's too late. You have to deal with your shit. You only get one life. It's not a practice one. You get one life. One. The lifetime. 